echoes Whispers under stones Sentries mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Countless miles to roam It's been rainy here in Washington, which I love, but my van, not so much. With the fewer hours of daylight and very little sun, my solar panels have been struggling. Even with all the recent upgrades, my house batteries have flatlined twice in the past month. And both times it was below freezing. So I've been breaking up my time in the van with short house sits and cabin stays and just roaming around mountain towns to see which ones I might potentially want to call home. I've found that living on the road is living in a constant state of change. And after nearly six years, the concept of impermanence has become deeply ingrained. For better or worse, I see most things as temporary, transient, moments to celebrate. I don't always like it, but I also know that life isn't something you can control. Sometimes happiness is just going with the flow.
You know that question, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I've often thought the ultimate superpower would be to switch lives with whoever you wanted, with as many people as you wanted, for at least one full day. Imagine all the different things you would experience, the characters that you would meet, and all the stories that you would live. It's something that has always intrigued me. And the other day, I realized that, in a way, I've created a version of that in my own life. Always in an unfamiliar place, driving some unknown road, living in strangers' homes, I think at this point, I've spent more than half my life experimenting with different locations, lifestyles, and potential homes. So the thought of choosing just one has been interesting. I'm usually playing on my little Martin, so this feels enormous. <laughs> um, I've been learning a new song. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. It's called Promise by Ben Howard. And I've just started learning it, so I'm not good at all, but <laughs> whatever. It's an art form, making a house into a home. So many decisions to make and details to contemplate. out of tune. Yep. <laughs> ah. I guess you might say I'm currently in the exploratory phase. Oh well. Which is also my favorite phase. Especially when it comes to creating. One thing I often do at this stage is go for long walks in nature while listening to music and just letting my imagination run wild. I'm often scrolling through tracks on Musicbed, looking for songs that spark ideas or emotion. Before I began filming the scenes you're watching now, I stumbled onto a song called Sky High, which I shared at the intro. It felt like the perfect soundtrack for telling the story of dreaming big while also literally staying at a cabin in the sky. With Musicbed, I have access to tracks I actually want to use in my projects, with songs and independent artists that are curated just for filmmakers. And to be honest, I'm not sure I would even be able to do what I do without music. It inspires so many different ideas, projects, emotions, and sometimes I find that music can create an even deeper connection than words alone. So take your projects and films to the next level with Musicbed. Hear the difference yourself when you sign up for a free account and use code CSHAFER at checkout to receive one month free when you purchase an annual subscription.
Welcome to the tree frame. Like how cute is this? I want to live here. This cabin and also the sea containers that I stayed in yesterday are so cozy. There's forest and mountains all around and the river is just a short walk away and it's heaven. <laughs> if you've seen some of my more recent videos, you know I drove out to the Ozarks to look at some family property with the intention of possibly buying it and renovating the cabins my grandparents had built years ago. That didn't work out, which is okay, but I came back out west in the van. Since I've been craving a home base, I figured I would just rent an apartment for six months or maybe even a year. But first I booked a seven week house sit in Washington to see if I actually liked Washington in the winter. I know I'm typically here in the summer, so I get a very different perspective on what this place looks like. So I kind of wanted to just experiment with that and see how I felt after the seven weeks. Turns out, I actually love the rain. However, I strongly dislike cities, <laughs> even suburbia-ish. And then, like I mentioned in the last video, I went out to the Pacific Bin and the Cedar Hollow cabins, and I just felt completely different. Obviously, all of these cabins are designed as unique and luxury type getaways. I mean, who doesn't want a cabin in the woods as a vacation home? But I started thinking just all this time, I've been saving my money by living in a vehicle, not paying rent, keeping expenses low. I've sacrificed a lot and lived with less for a while. So like, why not go for the cabin in the woods? Why not go after what I actually want? One of the last things my grandfather ever said to me, he sat me down and shared some of his life experiences and lessons because he knew he was sick and didn't have much time. And he looked me dead in the eye and said, Christian, not making a decision is making a decision. Those words have been coming around a lot lately. I think with this whole finding home thing, I just need to pick something and try it and learn from it. That's how I ended up with my van. I was dead set on a four x four Sprinter, but they were back ordered by seven months. And rather than wait, I decided to buy the Ram because it was available. And honestly, if I had waited, I probably wouldn't even have a van because 2020 happened during those seven months and production slowed even more. So I can't imagine where I would be right now if I hadn't just made that leap. Maybe it's the new year energy or maybe I'm just on an inspiration high from being around so many creative visionaries and the work that they do. I'm just really excited to try new things, to make mistakes, to fail, to basically just go after the things that I genuinely want in life and having a home, it's one of those things. I am still very much in the number crunching and designing phase, but it's been really fun and very humbling <laughs> diving into a whole new world of information that I literally know nothing about. Mostly what I have learned is that everything is very expensive, <laughs> but that's okay. It's honestly just gotten me even more stoked to work and create because now I have a goal that I'm working toward. It's still a blurry goal, maybe a little bit head in the clouds, treehouse and a magical forest kind of goal. I'm just gonna go with it. So for now, my focus is on finding land, increasing my income, and sketching out some rough design and blueprint ideas for a build. As far as land goes, I'm feeling pretty good about Washington. Um, there's a chance that could change, but you know, I know it's dark and rainy and for most of the year, but honestly, I really like that. It gives me an opportunity to kind of slow down and work on creative projects. And I find actually when I'm in sunny, beautiful environments, I have a hard time doing any work at all because I feel like I need to go take advantage of the beautiful weather and the day. I think Washington could be really good for me in that sense. And of course, it's just the location. Like there's mountains and rivers and forest and the ocean. And it's centrally located in the sense that I can go to Canada, Idaho, Montana, like the Rockies, California, Utah, just everything is within reach. And there's an international airport. So yeah, all those things considered. And, and just like, I already have my driver's license here. My business is established here. Um, just all of that paperwork stuff would be so much easier if I just lived here. Like I mentioned in the last video, if you or anyone you know is selling land in Washington, ideally like five acres, um, one at the bare minimum, but, or, or you know someone who's willing to subdivide their land or do something like that, I am looking to just build my one house. I'm looking at 
probably in the 1,000 square foot range. I'm just putting that out there because you guys are an amazing community. You always have so much great feedback and comments whenever I put out a question or ask for your opinion. So I really appreciate that. I think you're all incredible. And yeah, maybe one of you will have some sort of lead that I could follow that could lead to my very own cabin in the woods. I don't know, we'll see, but um, yeah, I'm not sure how to end this video because I uh, don't know what the edit will look like, so bye. <laughs>